but girl, child. I mean, what? Is I'm doing a splash over your table? It don't matter. My name is Vanessa and I love food. Today we're going to meet Chef Babette Davis at Stuff I Eat. She's a well-known vegan chef here in Inglewood, California. And I'm so excited to meet her and try her delicious vegan food. You know, Stuff I Eat was inspired by a love of good, wholesome food and having it available right in the community where I live. It never made too much sense to my husband or myself that we had to travel across town if we wanted to eat out and eat a good vegan meal. Most of the customers that come in here are not vegan. The food is just good. My purpose is to simply share. And at 66 years old, I have a lot to share. Thank you so much for letting us come and enjoy and learn from you, Chef Babette. What are we going to be making today? It's like this mac and cheese dish with all kind of veggies and mm. stuff in it. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love, so it. You're gonna love it. That sounds so good. You were a soul food eater. I am a soul food eater, like born and raised. Okay. When I first heard vegan soul food, I was a little apprehensive about that concept because being from the South, soul food is fat and pork and meat, so hearing like, no cheese, no butter, no salt, no fat. Doesn't really sound like soul food to me, but I appreciate the concept. What we're doing is we're gonna take mac and cheese, okay. and then we're gonna put all of these fun veggies mm. and tofu and tempeh in it. Okay. We are on a serious budget. If I wanna do a special, I'm gonna figure out what ingredients I have in this kitchen that I can turn something into a right. brand new dish. Oh wow. And it's economical that way. And you also have to kind of, you know, be creative. So I'm gonna turn our fire on. I got an old fashioned cast iron skillet. Go for it, girl. I'm scared. No, you put it on the <laughs> oh, okay. plate, child. The passion was in creating a healthy diet for ourselves. Okay. So got some broccoli, mm -hmm. onions. Mm -hmm. Food deserts are not fun. It's not a great thing for people to want to go out and purchase healthy food and there just not be any of that available. And I thought, I live in this community. I don't need to go across town. Right. Not for my first store. Well, it seems like your community has been really responsive. They've been so responsive. In the black community, I think that um, the vegan lifestyle is way more accepting now than prior times. Where I grew up was rooted in cooking what we had and fresh vegetables wasn't really an option for some of us. What type of milk is this? Actually, it's just almond. Almond milk? Okay. Yeah. What inspired you to make this dish? People love mac and cheese so much, right. and I just wanted to add something else to it. Cheese is always the thing that's the roughest to give up. What is the basis of the vegan cheese? Well, this is soy. I'm gonna try a piece. Stuff. Can I please? It does just like juice. The vegan and vegetarian community is so vast and wide. And do you think that you've had the same opportunities as a restaurant and as a vegan chef as other non-minority vegan chefs? Girl, we have been in here working so hard yeah. for the past nine years that we have just focused on what we were doing. The only person that will get in my way is me. Absolutely. And so I don't know because I'm so You're busy. here. You're focusing here. on your I'm restaurant. Focusing or your on craft. my restaurant. I know we ain't got no whole bunch of money yet. But for us, it was a learning curve. It was our very first business together like that. And it just took us a time. So for people like me that are interested in opening their own spaces, what advice could you give to people? So my thing is loving it, do your homework, and have some tunnel vision. Don't try to do nine million things at once. You do the Okay, honors. I'm gonna cut into it. I'm just gonna go right in. Go. Ooh. Keeping it Simple, that's what we do around here at Stuff I Eat. Like I said, I'm, I'm not a trained chef, so I'm not all foo fooed out. And they're able to enjoy mm. this. Oh, you're gonna have fun with that child. So I think I'm gonna I have a bowl too. Mm, we, should, we should have some Let's together. have some right now. Mm. A little hot sauce. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Mmm. Wow, that is so good. I can taste the smokiness mm -hmm. with the paprika that you were totally talking about, and it's so creamy. Like, I don't think people think like, oh, almond milk can make things like super creamy, and it has like that cheese component that you look for in mm -hmm. mac and cheese. It's so good. I think today went awesome. I learned so many things about vegan life and food and the options that you can have when you have a vegan lifestyle, and how, especially with the mac and cheese, like it tasted like real mac and cheese that I can get from home. And that was like an amazing, like mind blowing experience for me. Oh yeah.
Yes!